When it comes to vacations, most people don't think of Poland as a must-see destination, especially when Europe is full of incredible destinations. But trust us when we say you should make Poland a priority. Poland has something for everyone, whether you want to explore the outdoors, visit historical sites, or party the night away. Poland is an inexpensive destination that provides excellent value for money. Welcome to Travel Moji, your exclusive boarding pass to access the world. In today's video, we will take you on a virtual journey to Poland, and together we will explore the top 10 places to visit in Poland. Number 10, Malbork. Malbork is a quaint town in Poland where the Malbork Castle, the largest preserved medieval castle in Europe, is situated. It is also a UNESCO heritage site. The Malbork Castle is a must-visit place for any tourist visiting Poland due to its rich historical significance. The castle was very strategically built with the Nogat River on one side and marshes on the other. It was erected at the intersection of old trade routes along the ancient Amber Road from Pomerania to Italy and beyond. History buffs watching this are probably eager to visit now, but for all you foodies, here's a reason why you should visit. The Karksma Reiserska serves delicious medieval-style food. The museum at the castle today boasts unique amber wares and an artistic collection. Over 500,000 tourists flock to Malbork to visit its enchanting castle. When you visit this castle, be ready to walk a lot as it's the largest castle of the world by area. How large? 1,043,591 1 square meters large. Number 9. Tarun Tarun is the perfect amalgamation of Gothic and urban styles. The old town here is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the very few cities that has sustained no damages during World War II. It is also the birthplace of the legendary mathematician Nicholas Copernicus. The city is located in northern Poland and was prominent trade center in the Middle Ages. So, why should you visit Tarun and what to do there? Firstly, you can take a walk across the medieval old town that has also been named as one of the seven wonders of Poland. You'd probably get really hungry by the end of this walk, so head straight to the bar Mileksi Pod Arkadama on Rosanna Street, where you can enjoy a sumptuous Polish meal. After this, you can visit the Leaning Tower of Torun, Copernicus House, Teutonic Knights Castle, and Far Eastern Art Museum. If you want to learn how to make that lovely gingerbread that's sold across Torun, you can head to Museum Piernica, where you will learn the art. Number 8. Tatra National Park Visiting historical sites and good restaurants is fun, but doesn't really give you the dose of adrenaline you require. So, head to Tatra National Park, where you can hike to your heart's content. The National Park offers 171 miles of trails for tourists. Don't worry even if you're not a professional hiker, there are some easy trails you can follow. You can visit beautiful and pristine caves and valleys, spot some really cute animals, and visit cozy resorts around if you're tired. There is a nature education center located inside as well. A lot of endemic species roam the Tatra National Park, and there's a variety of mountain flora growing here. The landscape at this park is surely going to be a treat to your eyes. Number 7. Lots. Lots is not the most popular tourist place in Poland, but surely is worth visiting. There is a lot to do in this industrial city, so we would recommend you spend at least one day of your trip here. You can visit the beautiful Herbs Palace and Museum that has been restored to its original state. If you're a fan of museums and visiting one museum isn't enough, head to the Museum of Arts, which stores the largest collection of world art in Poland from 20th and 21st centuries. Situated in the heart of Lotz is the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. It stands out because of its bright colors and was built to celebrate the survival of Emperor Alexander II from an assassination attempt in 1879. Well, all of this sounds amazing, but we can't call a trip complete if we don't shop there. For a great shopping experience, you can visit Manufactura, a shopping center located in a 19th century industrial estate. There are over 240 shops to visit here. Number
Number six, Poznan. Poznan is full of beautiful and lively architecture. It is also one of the most open-minded cities in Poland, so the nightlife here is worth experiencing. You can stay at the Puro Poznan, which is a great hotel situated quite close to the Old Town Square. While here, you can take a walking trip across the city with a tour guide. This will be a fun way to explore the town, learn about the heritage and culture. Moreover, you'll be able to linger in your favorite places for a longer time. If you still wish to visit specific locations, we have it ready for you. While in Poznan, you must visit the Starry Brower, which is a charming shopping center, which also houses an art gallery. If you wish to go outdoor spaces more, you can head to the enchanting Park Salaki. Tarun is quite close to Poznan, so you can plan your trips accordingly. Number 5. Worklaw Worklaw is also known as a student hub as it is home to many universities, the most famous one being the University of Worklaw. As a tourist, you can walk past these universities and admire the majestic buildings and academic centers. Some of you might be wondering, that's kind of boring. I'll pass. Here's the good part. Worklaw has some of the best restaurants serving traditional Polish pierogi and bigos. If you wish to go gnome hunting, Worklaw is the place. Yes, you heard it right. Scattered across the city are 300 gnomes. You can take a walk across the city, search for gnomes, admire the architecture, and have great food. Number four, by Louisa Forrest. Baia Louisa Forest is home to the majestic bison. Over 800 bisons roam across the forest, and if you're lucky enough, you'll be able to spot one. To learn more about the forest, you can head to the Baia Louisa Nature and Forest Museum. It'll be quite an informative experience, and you'll learn about the species that inhabit the forest. This will also make it easier to know what animals to look for, and your overall animal spotting experience will become far more fun. If you're accompanied by kids, don't forget to visit the pretty Chotka Baby Joggy. Also, did we mention that if you don't get to spot bisons in the forest, you can visit the European Bison Show Reserve area? Number 3. Warsaw No trip to a country can be complete if you don't visit the capital city. Warsaw is an enchanting place with rich with history. A lot of it was destroyed during the World War II. Some buildings were restored and reconstructed, while others sustained no damage. But overall, the city was able to maintain its beauty. The Winnelow Palace, Royal Castle, and the Old Town are must-visit places in Warsaw. There are over 50 museums in this city, so you'll have an array of locations to choose from depending on your interests. If you're tired of visiting man-made structures, you can visit one of the lush green parks in the city for serenity and peace. We recommend you visit the Lazinki Park while in Warsaw. Number 2. Dansk Dansk has recently become a popular tourist destination and we'd say it's totally worth visiting on your trip to Poland. Known as the Drinker's Paradise, Dansk has a beer street where you can enjoy a peaceful afternoon and chill out. It has beautiful museums and a lot of history. Did you know that the Second World War broke out here? You can visit the European Solidarity Center, Ulika Dluga, and the suburbs of Zaspa while here. Zaspa has the largest collection of residential wall murals in all of Europe. The best part is that it is free to visit. If you're keen on learning in detail about these murals, you can also opt for guided tours. Number 1. Krakow Krakow easily the must-visit place in Poland. From food to historical landmarks, everything in Krakow is just beckoning you to visit the city once. And while there, you'll probably think to yourself, I think I should extend my stay here by at least a day. You can enjoy sumptuous Polish cuisine in Krakow that will be a treat to your taste buds. 
Head to Rhineck Blowney Square for shopping and taking fun carriage rides. We'd recommend you take guided tours here as there's so much history related to the Second World War and so many beautiful locations that you would not want to miss. 